Many have called me a walking miracle. And while I don't disagree, the miracle I see is not the most obvious. I'll be 43 next week. Some of the world's best doctors have said that I should have been miscarried, that I should not be able to walk a flight of stairs, sing, or live a normal and active life. Having a child, <laughs> well, that was declared impossible. 20 years ago, they said I needed a double lung and heart transplant. That hasn't changed today. I've had multiple mini strokes, a bleeding lung, a brain infection that required brain surgery, severe scoliosis, and endometriosis. In the last 10 years, I've had eight major surgeries. I've defied death more times than I can count. Present day, I'm in heart failure. I've grieved the loss of a child, my 18-month-old niece, and my youngest sister. I've also survived an abusive marriage. In spite of a long list of health challenges, pain, grief, and depression, I continue to advance. I've been married to the love of my life for 11 years, and together we own two businesses, a nonprofit, and Jake serves in the Oklahoma State Senate. I homeschool our two beautiful miracle girls, one divinely adopted through foster care, and one I miraculously had. I have seen miracle after miracle manifest in my life, but all of these pale in comparison to the most significant thing I've gained. Join me at the Women's Conference, where I will share the most tremendous miracle I've received.